Well, India certainly played like the number one test team in the world. But experts believe that the real challenges will come when India travels abroad. Which begs the question, are they really the best team in the world? It's a good time to get our bloggers involved. Andrew Menzel, who's a cricket journalist from Australia, joins us. Andrew, what do you have to say about this? Hey, everyone at Match Point. Thanks for having me on the show again. Great to be with you. Look, it's an interesting question about India's dominance at home, but their lack of success overseas. It's hard to be critical because no team has success when they tour overseas at the moment because the tours are so short and they don't have time for warm-up games. But what I will say that sets India apart from the other teams is that they are so dominant in their home conditions. Kohli and Ashwin are breaking record after record, so they clearly deserve to be the number one side in the world at the moment. Some very valid points there from you, Andrew. But Paul, let me come to you. We are a dominant side when it comes to tests in India. But what about when we travel? Well, the short answer is yes, India are the number one side in the world. They're miles ahead on the test rankings. But it is true that they haven't been tested against absolutely top-class uh, opposition away from home for a while now. Uh, four years ago, they lost series away to England, Australia and South Africa. Um, they only won one test match across all of those three series. Look, they're a much better side now. And it's exciting because over the next 12 months or so, they're going to be playing all those three sides again away from home. Never beaten Australia or South Africa uh, away. They've only beaten England three times out of 17. Now is a, a chance for them to, to really silence the doubters. I think to do that, they have to be competitive in these series. And with their current side and with Coley's aggressive leadership, they certainly have every chance of doing so. Personally, I just can't wait for the Gabba Test match in a year's time when Coley comes out to bat. The, the Brisbane crowd will give him a memorable reception and we could be in for one of the all-time great Test series. Well, you're right, Paul. There's a lot of cricket coming up in the next 12 months and they've got a lot going for them. So only time will tell if they truly are the number one Test team in the world. But thank you so much for joining us on Matchpoint.